so I figured we'd start there. Um, we'll go uh, something super simple, uh, something like an arm drag, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get our partner just to reach out with one hand, just touch our shoulder. Just, it's just more of a, just a flow drill, so you can touch my shoulder. We're going to come to the inside of his, his uh, same side arm, okay? Just like this, and we're going to bring it to the outside like this, grabbing his wrist, okay? Super easy, boom. We're going to reach as far back to the tricep, shoulder area, not the elbow. We're going to reach back here, and we're going to pull him as we step, okay? And we're going to come back around and walk our hand. Simple arm drag to take the back. You can do it off of like, you know, collar tie-ups or whatever. You just come in the inside. Boom. So this is just a good one. We'll start forming a little bit of body locks. You know the wrist. The easy technique for very effective. So how we start, touch the shoulder, come to the inside, pull back, lock, okay? Then come back, touch the other shoulder, boom, other side, boom. Okay, it's nice and, nice and easy, so it should look like this. Okay? No strength. Just focus on technique. Alright, so if you guys want to partner up, we'll start hitting that. I'll walk around. Just to warm up, it's practicing the movement, you'll mostly get it when you're actually in the, in a clinch position, you're gonna feel the wrist like that. So just keep that in mind. Don't ever grab like from the outside in a real fight like this. It's not realistic. It's more of a warm-up technique. Um, but anyway, we'll go into more um, actual technique right now. Uh, we'll do uh, a high crotch, just an entry to a, a single leg. So what we're going to do is our, our partner is going to stand square like this. Okay? He's going to put his shoulders, uh, hands on my shoulders. I'm just going to come inside like this. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to be lifting one and dropping one. And with my with either leg, depending on what move, so we'll do outside leg. We're going to step in, okay? Our shoulder is going to drive all the way through to his hip, just like it's going to come right over our head as this one drops down. So we're transferring his weight. Okay, see how my, my shoulder is right in his hip? It's very important that you don't have any space here, or else he's going to sprawl you out. Okay? So we're in this place position. Boom. Just let's go. I take a step through. Now I have my leg. Okay? Extra secure, we want to pinch our leg, keep our chest on the leg, and our head up. And our, my neck should always be like this. Or else you're gonna get guillotine. Okay, if my neck's down like this, he's got an easy submission there. So what I'm gonna do is pinch my leg, keep nice and tight here, okay? And I can walk up around, move around like this, okay? But for now, first thing, just like this, just that, okay? So, grab your part. Any questions first? No? Okay. I'll walk around here. We'll go into like a couple finishes. Like, that's just a couple entries, uh, positions. But uh, now we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll have a single leg. We'll just do a couple finishes from that. So, we'll start with the leg here. Okay, boom, same position we were in. Um, my, my favorite from here is just, uh, just the kneecap. We're going to drop our inside arm through the back of the knee here. As we step and push my, I'm going to drop my shoulder into his hip right here, blocking this knee. Okay? And I'm going to pin him just like that. Okay? So, again, here, my hands are locked, good posture. My hand is just going to, uh, we're going to break my grip. I'm going to hook this leg. Hook this leg and drop my shoulder into the leg, into the side, okay? So I'm kind of like turning like this, motion, okay? If you, if you guys feel comfortable, you can, you can uh, do the entry we just did and then come here, okay? If you don't, you just practice right from here, okay? Boom, pinch the legs with our legs, grip, 
right like this. Drop me in. Okay. Any questions then? And the elbows. And the elbows. And the elbows. <laughs> <laughs> is just jab or fake jab uh, to bring his hands up or get him to stand tall thinking there's something happening up here and then we're going to lower our level and we're going to take our penetration step you know if as deep as possible if it's here that's that's even better we don't want it oh here because that makes us have to bend over we want to have a straight back okay underneath of his hips so um, if you want if you're comfortable throwing a jab or if you just want to just practice just this, fine. Um, so I'll walk you through it. We're going to drop our level. Penetration step, grab behind the knees, and just take one step with it. Just because we don't got enough, a lot of room. Uh, unless we take turns, maybe going in one direction and like lines, just so no one gets hurt, because uh, people get their ankles twisted. So we can do it like this, actually. We're here, drop our level. Boom, just like this, okay? That'll be good. Then walk around to the line or whatever. Okay, we'll show you show you again. We're here, drop our level, underneath them, step, boom. Just like this, okay? Any questions? No? Everyone's got it? Okay. Let's think. Maybe two lines here, three lines here, or something. exact same way his hips are, okay? So we're both, our hips are facing the same direction. I'm using my nearest leg to him to kick all the way through, okay? Keeping this uh, overhook or wizard hook, whatever you like to call it, tight. Okay, I'm gonna have my, his wrist kicking him up. With this leg now, now that he's off balance, all his weight is on this leg. I'm taking this leg down, and I'm gonna hook it with my foot just like this, okay? 
his weight should still all be on that one leg. I'm going to drive him in that direction and grab behind the ankle and just drive him over, okay? Just a wizard to uh, ankle pick, okay? So we're here. I got the overhook, he's got an underhook, and I have wrist control, okay? We're facing each other, okay? I'm going to pivot onto one leg, okay? Hips are facing the same direction. This leg is going to come through, boom. Now we're both, ahead. my head should always be over his. Now I'm putting his weight behind there, and my hook, my, my foot will hook his foot, okay? So if he tries to bring it out or anything, I'm, I'm trapping it there, okay? It'll give me enough time to reach down and trap his ankle, okay? At full speed, it looks like this. Nice and flowing. Boom. Boom. I'm just going to sit down. Up. Come sit close to him so he doesn't scoot away. So, nice and light. Boom. Fall, fall nice and light. Don't be stiff. Just nice and loose so you don't hurt your back. Okay? Go to the other side, down under hook, wrist, turn, kick through, lock the hook, ankle pick. Sometimes you don't even need the, the hand, sometimes just this is enough, but that's just extra security to make sure you get the take down. Any questions? No? Okay. This takes up a lot of space, so how about we'll do like rotations of like, you know, two or three people there, and whoever's sitting out, come in after. You know, just make sure you're giving each other enough space. You know, I'll, I'll run around and each other. Jab that brings his hands up and opens up this big space here for the push kick. 
Um, you can do it for a lot of damage too, not just for distance control, um, which is a big part of the push kick, but you can do a lot of damage if he's, if he's up here and then his stomach is on flex, boom, he's sticking it with a big push kick, yeah? So, the way it is, is we're going to fake jab up here, and our rear leg push kick, our knee is going to come through, boom, and through like that, okay? So our knee comes up, and our hips do just like that. Our hands are going to come like this, boom, okay? Um, more advanced guys can put their arm back for like a, a lever action. Um, for a more protective way of throwing it, is you can bring just like your, your hands up, just like this, to protect your chin, your head, and keep them at bay. Okay, so we're going to throw our jab or fake jab with our whole body, boom. It's going to flinch his hands up, okay? Boom, come through just like that, okay? So knee first, and push through with the head. Alright? Just like that. So we're moving around, moving around. Boom. Okay. Extend it just like this, okay? So our, our next target is going to be this, a flying switch knee. So this leg is going to come up, and that leg, the, the front of the leg is going to come through. So we jab, and remember we're low, so this is a, it's like a hidden push kick, okay? He thinks that jab's coming, and we're coming through low, so it's underneath his radar. So low, boom, jab, switch kick, he's back. So this leg just comes right down. Okay, right from the push kick, down, and we're going to jump off that leg, like we're throwing the knee, but as we're in the air, we're switching our hip. So even if you want to practice that at first, um, just hold your target there, just like that. Okay, our hands are up, you see how like that, I'm just showing that motion. The hands again can be like this, this, you got to make sure you're blocked, um, whatever you're comfortable. Um, I like this. Because it gives you good distance. Um, some people are like this. Whatever is suited for that the, the, in the moment kind of thing. So, again, we'll run through the whole thing. So, push kick, plant. Boom. Just like that. Push kick. Sorry, I forgot the jab. So, uh, jab, push kick. Boom. It's a very flowing thing. Okay, so uh, again, let's maybe do it all in this direction, so the pad holder can move back with it. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, um, if you guys want for this one, uh, whatever you're comfortable with, you can either hold the pads like this, because this is going to be a, a high kick, or you can you can hold it just with one hand over here, so you don't trust your partner. Uh, you can your the body. So, yeah. so either way, if, if you feel more comfortable doing it from out here, uh, it would be in front of you like this. Like you kick like outside, or if you trust the guy, you can stack the pads right here, okay, and absorb the kick with with the kick, okay. Um, so you just make sure you don't kick the guy low or kick him in the top of the head. People get knocked out like that. So yeah, pad holder, put your hands together like this, you can shield on the side. So without the pads, I'm going to demonstrate it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to the philosophy to this kick is say uh. We're, we're fighting, I just want to start throwing this uh, leg kick every once in a while, jab, leg kick, you know, threatening with the leg kicks a lot. So he's constantly, he's thinking for the, the, this 30 seconds or however many seconds it is, but you just keep going after this leg. He's probably throwing three kicks at this leg. He's, in his mind, coming at this leg again. So it's called a flash kick. So basically, what he's thinking is, He's, you're coming down on an angle like this to kick that leg again, but we're going to switch our hips so the leg comes up high. So without the guy here, without you, it's going to look like this, and we're going to switch our hips so the leg comes low and then high at the last second. So without the pads, I'm coming to the leg and then bring it to the head, okay? So put the pad there, it's going to look like this. Okay, so when he thinks to grab like low or block, okay, this kick is going to come high. A lot of the time it lands. It's a very good kick. I like it a lot. So, again, we're moving around, kicking this leg. Boom. He's thinking I'm going to kick again. Coming low and switching it and going high, okay? So, pad holders, don't drop your hands. <laughs> yeah. So, it works like this. Okay? It's just like a whip. Okay, so it comes low and snaps up high. Hi. Questions? Good? <laughs>
we'll do another kind of uh, a fake to uh, another kick. Um, you know how Machida did that uh, switch crescent kick thing? Um, it's a lot like that, but we're gonna do it with a push kick, a more of a push kick style. So again, same kind of philosophy behind this. You push kick this guy maybe once, twice, three times in a row, and um, you know he starts to see it coming, so he wants he, he's gonna block it now. Okay, so what we're gonna do, knowing what we're gonna what we're doing through all these push kicks, boom, boom, boom is we're going to come through with a uh, technique, how we would push kick, but it's just like, again, we're faking. So we're coming here, and we're push kicking with the other leg, okay? So as he blocks, the other one's going to come through. So it's just like that, okay? Like we're push kicking, boom, and then the other one comes through. It's just uh, one of those things that keeps the guy at bay, keeps him guessing, you know, it's, it's variety. It's very good to have a high variety in, in MMA. Um, so it looks like this. We push kick him once, okay? Now we're gonna bring our knee up, and then we're gonna switch just like that knee, boom, and push kick with that, okay? Boom. And back. So the same, same, same style of push kick, but it's, it's, we're doing it kind of popping into it, okay? Push kick, switch push kick, okay? Aim for right here. If it wasn't with the pads, so you're fighting, boom, push kick, okay? Boom. Okay? And hands up, so I was, I had bad technique there. Boom, boom. Alright? No questions? Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll run through that quickly. Sitting in a chair, okay? Facing this way. 
Okay? And our hands are going to come through like this. Boom. And up. Like that. Okay? So it's coming with our legs. Okay? Still, our chin is tucked. Our hand is blocked. Just in case we don't see something coming. So, um, you want to make sure that your fake jab is working. You're shutting them down with your jab. He's really covering up from that. Okay? And when you see the time is right, <coughs> hold, sit in your chair, pop up with the elbow. Okay? Again. Boom. Get our distance right. Hold the pad. Boom. Raise the knees. Okay? So we'll just practice. Uh, yeah, just practice that one for now, and then we'll get into another one. Where you got this? Yeah, you're in your shell. You're in your shell. You're in your shell. You're in your shell. you it's just to close the distance on him to make him shell up again. We want him to shell up and give him that, give us that alleyway up the middle for the elbow. So it's the exact same concept. Boom, he puts that pad here. Okay, we're just going to throw a hook. Boom, but it's going to come right down into that position. Okay, boom, we're in our chair and we're going to pop up with our legs. Okay, right here. Seated position, pop up. Okay? Everyone clear on that? It's more of a fluent move than the jab. I like it a little bit better. But uh, again, it's a timing thing, and you have to read your opponent for the right, the right opening for this move. So uh, give it a shot. basically a fake inside leg kick, okay? So if you want to set it up that way, you can. Boom, if you watch my fight with Nate Diaz, I did this attack a lot, because it works perfect for distance control. 
for a guy that wants to cut your range off and stuff like that. It's, it's a great outside attack to keep him at bay. It's not super damaging, but uh, it looks good and it, it's, it's great for keeping distance control and high variety. It mixes things up and the guy, it keeps the guy guessing. So, again, you could, you could set it up with any kind of lead kick, any, anything like that. Make him think something else, okay? So basically, the actual movement of this is you're coming up and you're just falling over your leg, okay? So it's like this. Bah, okay? You're literally like, like falling forward, okay? You, can, you could actually do it backwards too, it's a little more advanced, but it looks, it looks funny. Just, but this is the way you learn the technique, to, so it actually looks good. But um, so at first, it's just like this. Okay, it looks weird at first, but that's a good way to to, to teach your body the proper movement. Um, so once you actually are comfortable with it, it looks like this. It's really fast, and it comes from the outside really quickly. Okay, so we're here. We change our level. Okay, and we we step off to the outside. Okay, but for now. Practice. Boom. Boom. Okay. Our weight over our legs. Oh, sorry. Holding my toes down. So watch my legs. How I shift. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Any questions? No, we're good. Okay. Just practice that, and quickly we'll get into something else. You're, you're kind of just like falling into your leg like this, but you've got to bring your front leg up and down. Okay? Most, most like you're doing that. Okay? Right. Like, 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 you want to learn super fast. Okay. Um, this one now is uh, a, a lead Superman to a leg kick. Um, a little bit harder, but again, we'll set it up like, like normal. Boom. Here. And then pop. We step to the side, okay? And this leg is going to fall on the chain. And we're going to peel, peel off. So we don't want to be in front of him. We want to be at a 45 degree angle, so we're outside of his attack. He can't hit us out here. 45 degree angle to your opponent is always the safest place. Okay? So we slowly, bam, bam. Okay? Looks easy. Try and do it. Again. Here. Here. Everyone comfortable with that? Okay, we'll run through that real quick. Yes, Please don't kick me. After a number of years, I can say, yeah. I really want to push over. Uh, 
and I'm stepping this way, so it's the opposite for you. So